Good morning, everybody. This is Wynn Harden with Tech B2B and the Manufacturing Matters Podcast. It's a pleasure to see you all this morning. Thanks for joining us on our first live streaming session after Alex and Jana kicked us off with a great introduction today. Day two at Automate 2024 in Chicago, McCormick Place. There's an awful lot going on. Um, I'm lucky enough to be here today with Linus Kilberg and Colin Ayers from Castle Robots. Guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. So, kick us off. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do at Castle. Yeah, so my name is Linus Kilberg, and I'm responsible on a global level for uh, sales of, of the robot right. on the Bosch Rexel side. I'm Colin Ayers. I work here in the U.S. I'm a regional national channel manager for the robots, so I take care of everything west of the Mississippi in terms of our uh, sales channels. So it's my understanding some of the hot news for Casso Robots has been um, your partnership with Bosch Rexroth, right? Big name, big big leader in the in industrial automation market. Definitely. So tell us a little bit about how the uh, that's come together, the synergies that that enables you to provide. Absolutely. So early 2022, Bosch Rexroth was looking to broaden their factory automation portfolio mm -hmm. and really was interested in diving into the cobot market. So right. at, at the same time, Castle Robots was rising up through the ranks and beginning to gain some notoriety. And um, they thought no better time than now to come together and add another technology to the already very diverse factory automation uh, portfolio that Bosch Rexroth has. And that's a strong solution, right? Being able to have an end-to-end -end automation solution, especially robotics assembly, manufacturing, packaging like that. So, And it must be great having such a strong partner in your you know in your corner absolutely for sure that's where we make a difference I mean if we're looking on the market and what we can provide compared to a lot of our, what's out there right we, we do have that complete portfolio um, that we can offer to our customers and to our partners which is where we make a difference we're not just a robot manufacturer right we're a factor automation provider and has the integration of the different product portfolios come together? Are, are we well in, into progress in that area? Because that's usually one of the great benefits, right, of being able to have a complete, full line of robotic solutions. Because it's definitely, I mean, if you if the people are now coming over to a booth, which is actually just right across mm -hmm. the hallway yep. here from where we are, so not right far right away, 4250, uh, you can actually see the, for example, the smart flex effector, which is a compensation unit from Bosch Rexroth. We have the integration with our PLC control system with the Control X. Yep. So it's already going on quite quite well with the synergies that we do have in the existing portfolio as well. So Beautiful, beautiful. So when I was walking through the booth earlier and yesterday, I noticed the Edge Edition seems to be the big new news, right? So what can you tell us about Edge Edition? Yeah, so the Edge Edition is the smallest footprint cobot on the market right now. So we've taken the controller box, which is a pain point for any robot. You know, it a, takes a lot of space, and we've been able to shrink that down mm -hmm. and place it into the base of our robot. It's sometimes it, it's difficult to think about until you see it. Right. So we definitely want you guys to come over to the booth and see it. Okay. Um, and it lends itself off, you know, very well to these AMR applications where you've got limited real estate on an AMR to put a robot on top or anywhere where space is at a premium. Mm -hmm. It we've been able to eliminate the controller box and uh, you don't lose any of your I.O. capability or anything else like that. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Linus, we've been hearing along a, a lot in recent years about putting Cobot arms onto a mobile pedestal or yep. an AMR solution. You, is, is the demand finally starting to ramp up for that? Um, Definitely. I mean, you can you can see the, the warehouse automation or the intro logistics. Right. It's really starting to boom as well. Um, we do have a lot of the, the AMRs and the AGVs also we got in the, in the factory automation portfolio from Rexroth also in addition to that. Right. So uh, there we also do got some synergies, but we see this um, AMRs uh, automation solutions becoming more and more important because we don't have enough labor to be working in the warehouse. So this is really important to get that automation done. Okay. And of course, you need a robot arm to do. Uh, to make some picks, to make some milk runs or whatnot. Right. Um, so we now are able to enable that for, for the end users to be able to put a robot arm on an AGV without having any type of larger control cabinets on board on the AGV, which of course limits the space needed as well for, for the end user. So right. this business has really grown up pretty fast and it's also, of course, one of our, our main focuses from the Bosch Rexel side that we, and Castle side that we really want to focus on the segments. Right. Anything I think that increases the productivity per mission in a warehouse is, is, a, is a, K, a critical KPI, right, for, for those operations. Yeah. 
Colin, what other, in addition to warehousing, I got to think either in general assembly, you know, bringing parts to assembly tables, or what, are there other industries, applications that are benefiting from edge addition? Yeah, basically anything where you want to, you know, move and kind of eliminate some of those, the roadblocks that you see moving, whether it's parts across a factory or, you know, from one station to another, and logistically you need to streamline that process. Right. When you can put, you know, an arm on top of an AGB, you can do two tasks at once. So things like that, it's it's incredible how many applications continue to open up with uh, with those uh, solutions. Let me let me just jump into Please. that as well because yeah. Yeah. another important part of that is um, the edge edition fits very well into OEM machine builders that are building, for example, machine tools. You got to do machine tending. You got limited space on a on a machine tool, for example. Right. Or if we're speaking on about a complete line that you're building a, a big machine for an end user, right? So you got limited space. You want to include the robot inside of the line and the machine as, as well. And there we're actually providing a super compact solution, and especially with the seventh axis that we can navigate in very confined spaces. That gives us a, a huge benefit for the market, for the for the end user to do that, and of course also for the OEMs to be able to integrate the robot arm directly in their machines mm -hmm. instead of doing it um, in the brownfield, so to say. You can really go into the into the greenfield. Right, and that seventh axis has been your bread and butter, right, since Casual Robots was created, right. which, which, if my understanding is, allows you to, especially in retrofit applications, where floor space is incredibly tight, uh, you're trying to tend to multiple machines at one time, and that seventh axis allows you to just get into very tight corners without repositioning the robot, although Edge Edition now gives us the ability to, to be more mobile if, if we're, um, I'd love to see some of the, the modern work cells designs where the, the bot is actually no longer stationary on the floor at all, you know, just a, a yeah. ring of machines and, and doing its business, so. Definitely, I mean, speaking about the seventh axis and perhaps also the with Edge Edition for, for example, machine tending, I mean, put it on a, on a linear guidance or just on an AGV or AMR, I mean, move it from one place to another to have the robot tend to several machines. This is a huge thing that we get. And of course, also with the seventh axis that we have the possibility to reach in and grab around the corner, meaning that we can always give the, the operator full access to the machine room right? and we don't have to block that. Excellent so for example, point. if you got to go into a machine, pick up a workpiece, and bring it out to the table again. If you got to do maintenance in that machine, you got to remove a six-axis cobot right. or a robot. But if you got a seven-axis, you can actually put it on the side, meaning you can go in, grab around the corner, and always have full access to to the machine room. Beautiful. So this is a, a really big benefit, and as you said, this is our bread and butter. Of course, it's not only machine tending that's benefiting from the seven-axis because you can do very complex move in a confined space. Right. I can imagine a lot of industries, medical device assembly, uh, you know, any kind of clean room environment, although I don't know, is it clean room certified? Is, is, can you put a, uh, an edge addition into a clean room environment? So we're going through the test at the moment and we're getting a certificate now. So uh, one of the, the um, certifiers of the clean room, they do have our robot now yep. and we're progressing there and it looks pretty promising what, what we've been here for, for the results. So okay. pretty soon we'll also have that Colin, does the Edge Edition come with an optional vision system or can you tell us a little bit about the sensing technology or is it pretty much program path? So our robots, we, we manufacture the robots. Um, we don't manufacture peripheral products, but what we do have is our new KR Pulse ecosystem portal. Right. So you can see that online on our website and you can search by solution or manufacturer and see a full lineup of all the peripheral products that we work with. So. Um, You'll find vision, grippers, everything you need to kind of make that complete system. Yeah. It allows you to do that online before you're sitting there looking throughout, um, you know, all the different products. So, uh, and I was just checking out that I think the the um, uh, the KR Pulse was was a fairly recent announcement, uh, if I'm not mistaken. In that De area. It was. We we released that in, in February, and of course, all our partners, all the customers, have been for, for for a long time asking about where can we see. You the peripheral equipment that is compatible uh, with your robot, and yeah. now we actually do have a very nice platform to display that for both for our technology partners and of course also for the end users and yeah. for the integrators as well to make use of that system. And if you once again come over to a booth, you'll see a lot of those technology partners being on site with us providing solutions and showing solutions. I mean, we got tightening, we got dispensing for example, uh -huh. we got palletizing software, so we're really 
our aim is to make it as easy as possible for the integrators and for the end users to do automation. This is our target, this is our goal, this is what that's we want to achieve. I know, I know it's been a, a project that's been under development for some time, right? I mean, because you've got a lot of partners already on that system. So uh, it's not like it's, it's a bare, bare bones closet. I mean, it's, it's already full with technologies, partners, capabilities. So that's, that's a great thing. Are there any particular partners you want to mention in particular regarding maybe what's in the booth or uh, what else yep. will we see other than Edge Edition? Uh, maybe in the KR line, I'm sure that's over in the booth. But. Yeah, so we have all of our KR models as well, of, of course, as our Edge Edition, but um, we've got several different applications throughout the booth with our you know, partners from Morel that have um, created a not only the Edge Edition, but also some um, smart flex effector applications nice. from Bosch Rex Roth. So okay. that's one of our peripheral products that allows for a lot of kind of turnkey pick and place um, applications to be built and solutions like that. So not only that, but we have several other solutions you can come by and see, um, whether it be welding, palletizing, dispensing, there's a lot to look at over at the, at the booth. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Look forward to going back over there and getting a deeper dive. Yeah. after this segment. So um, so tell us, we're getting to the end of our time here. What are the applications and industries that are hot right now? What's driving the market? So I find what's really driving the market is that turnkey solution, whether that be a pick and place or you know whatever industry you're looking at, machine tool, um, medical, EV, anywhere that you can create that solution where, because nobody wants to buy a robot, they want to buy a full solution. Right. You know, they want to solve a problem. So. That's the route we're really trying to push with our ecosystem like we've, like we've talked about is not only, um, not only selling our you know, robots, but selling the solution as a whole. So you know, the more that you can do that, the more success we've seen and more enthusiasm we've seen behind the, behind the robots. Absolutely, I think that's a big driver for the overall market, right? These integrated solutions that, are, that don't have to be run by engineers. That's mm -hmm. the most critical element I think here. It's just not enough engineering talent out there to be monitoring and managing I the mean, systems. That, that's part of what's driving the market, like the labor shortage, and right. especially the qualified labor shortage. Absolutely. Yeah, but it's getting also harder and harder to find people that want and can uh, do also the, the simpler tasks as well, just moving a box from A to B. I mean, it's the health, uh, the yeah. HSC environment, it's, it's, it's getting more and more also critical. We need to provide a good working environment for the people. We need to make sure they have a safe job. And this is also, of course, where we can help out a lot with, with a cobot to solve that problem. And it makes sense because when you think about robots being, you know, dirty, doing dull, dirty, dangerous work, warehouse industry is probably has one of the highest turnovers of any of the industries that we serve in industrial automation. Um, it's just a hard, a hard job. The work we're doing, I think, is, is, is truly helping mankind uh, at, at, a, at a basic level, you know? I mean, you don't think about when you think about robots as much, but when you think of it, it really does impact people's lives for the better. And not just in, in what is now capable of being produced, you know, from a warehouse or a factory at cheaper prices, better quality, but making people's jobs, you know, a whole lot more enjoyable and better, so. Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for uh, spending some time with us today, and I, I really appreciate Linus and Colin, you guys taking a little bit of time out of your day to come over here. Of course. Uh, We're happy to be here. Thanks for having yeah, us. Our thank pleasure. You very much. It's day two. I know you need to hustle back to the booth because today is going to be a high traffic day. It's going to be busy. lots of discussions. So thank you so much, everybody. My name is Wynn Harden. You can get us a chance. Be sure to stay online for our next segment. Check out Manufacturing Matters podcast when you can. And I look forward to seeing you on our next show. See, hopefully, I'll see you guys before next year. Let's yes, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Great.